Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Finally, I'm here with Kieran Colmey. Kieran, you came here Thursday night, not the ideal preparation to be fighting uh, on Saturday, but you're here, you're finally here. How relieved are you? Yeah, I'm very relieved actually, because there was a point where I didn't think I was going to make it. Um, Visa was taking its time to come back, but it's here now. Um, got here late, but it is what it is. Like it, it, It's kind of made it a little bit more fun like everything's just been on me on me on me i've had to do everything very fast and um hopefully i'm going to take that pace into the ring talk to me about Suleiman Sissoko. um undefeated olympian in rio bronze medalist uh toughest fight today i mean you he's not faced somebody like you in terms of what you've you've faced like ted cheeseman and all these sort of guys you've, you've been in the rough and tumble fights he may not have had that yet are you ready to put it on him and show him that you're the experienced fighter in there and you're you're, you're there to win not just to make up the numbers yeah, 100%. I hope people don't think I'm here to just make up the numbers because that's not the case at all. I'm truly very confident. Um, people keep saying, oh, he's trained by Virgil Hunter. He's done, he's done this, he's done that. I don't care. I genuinely don't care. I'm here to do what I've got to do and I'm here to win. You size him up at the scales or at the weigh-in yesterday. I mean, what did you make of it? What did you see in his eyes? Um, I, think he's, I think he's confident, but why wouldn't you be? You're Olympian. Um, and uh, what have I done? What have I done so far as an amateur or a pro? Well, I'm here to show what I can do. You're here. I mean, the win. You, you went to the atmosphere of that win, but that, there's going to be 70,000 in that arena tonight. Boxing is back finally. It's been over a year and a half, or just about a year and a half. So, how excited are you to finally be fighting in, in, uh, in front of the crowds? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you've seen what it's, it's been like back home with the, the behind closed door fights, but you, you've managed to come here and, and get to fight in front of fans again. Yeah, it's unbelievable, to be fair. Um, this is what I was telling everyone I was going to be a part of from when I was boxing for no money in small little shows, um, real struggling at the start and things like that. I told everyone I'm oh, this is what I'm going to be part of and eventually hopefully topping these sort of things one day. Um, and now I'm here. I'm just here to take the, take the opportunity with both hands and real put, put on a real good performance. You were meant to face Jesse Vargas. I don't know what, how that broke down or anything like that, but are you disappointed that Jesse Vargas' fight didn't come off? Um, yeah, yeah, I guess so, because it's a real high-profile fight, that. Um, I was very disappointed when it got called off um, to begin with, um, but I've got a fight now, so I'm focused on Sissoko, and I'm, I'm ready to go. If that fight arises, uh, arose again, the Jesse Vargas fight, you, you grab it with both hands? Yeah, 100%. Like, like I always say, I'm not here to duck and dive, avoid and say no to fights. I'm here to challenge myself and um, do the best I can. Back to Sissoko then. What does that do for your career, undefeated Olympian and all this sort of stuff? What does that do for your career? I went out here in Texas. Hopefully it opens people's eyes to what I'm about. Um, I think still there's questions there because I've not beat high-level opponents yet. Um, no disrespect to any of my other opponents, but so they're, they're good fighters, but the high, high level. I've not beat any yet, and this is the time. Um, this is my chance to put that to the side, and um, hopefully it pushes on my career. I mean, you did arrive here late with the visa problems, and that, that's not going to, you said everything's going to be fast paced, but sometimes with the six hour time difference, the heat, uh, and, and things like that, that's not going to play a factor. Do you think that's going to play a factor uh, in this fight tonight? No, I don't think so at all. Um, for the time I was in England, I was moving my body clock, I was moving my sleep, my food, my training, all to suit American times. So that didn't that didn't play a part at all. I fell to sleep, fell to sleep at a normal time, woke up at a normal time, and continued to do that since I've been here. So that won't play a, um, a big part. And uh, the heat, I've got a very hot gym. We heat it up on purpose to be really, really hot. Um, so hopefully that don't play a part either. The main event itself, I mean, it's been hectic here this fight week. It's good to see, like I said to you before, it's good to see boxing back in terms of the fans outside the hotel and, and things like that. And everything's a little bit more relaxed here in Texas. But Billy Joe Saunders, Canelo, can your fellow countrymen do it? Yeah, of course. I, I, can't, write, I can't write Billy Joe off. Um, Canelo is Canelo. He's, he's a beast. Um, he, he can knock anyone out with both hands. Um, but you can't write off Billy Joe. He's just what he is. And it'll make it a tough night for anyone if he wants to. I think it's whoever turns up on the night wins that fight. One final word on Sissoko then. Do you think he's using you as a stepping stone to become world champion? If he is, I'm here to squash all those plans because I'm not no stepping stone, I'm here to win. Good stuff, Ken. I won't keep you much longer. I know you're, you're over there, you're, you're sitting with your team, you're relaxed. I'm sorry I stole your way to do this interview. Uh, you're hours from fight night, so 
I mean, you've just got a smile on your face. You're ready. So good luck tonight, champ. Thank you very much, mate. I mean, smash it. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. I like that.